Hi everyone, it's Leanne, one of the TAs. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the landmarks of the hand. Okay, so um, just like the other videos, um, the format's gonna be the same. If you haven't had a chance to watch any of the other videos, the way this is gonna be structured is that I'm gonna ask you a couple questions first about the hand and um, its landmarks. And then I will go through the answers after I'm done quizzing. Also, um, I might go a little fast for timing reasons. So feel free to pause the video whenever you need. Okay, so first question is going to be, is this a left or right hand? Okay, so I think the best way to do this is I'm just gonna quiz you on a couple of these. Um, but at the end in the review, I'll go over all of the um, landmarks of the hand. Okay, so this will be one. And this here, this little ball will be two. Then this specific part right here, that's gonna be three. This here is gonna be four. And this will be five. Okay, I'm gonna start going over the answers. So if you didn't get a chance to complete all the questions, feel free to pause here and um, try to quiz yourself on those. Okay, so go over them over here. So one is gonna be the scaphoid. Two is going to be the pisciform. Three is going to be the shaft of the third metacarpal. Bone. Four. That's going to be your proximal phalanx. Of the fourth digit and five is going to be the distal phalanx of the second digit. Sorry, got a little cramped here. Okay, so feel free to pause it here if you wanna keep looking this over. Um, I'm actually going to erase all of this. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is that now I'm gonna do a review portion. I'm gonna go over all of the different landmarks of the hand. So I'm going to start off with the, let me get a thinner pen here. I'm going to start off with the carpal bones. So that's going to be 
this portion right here, this here is going to be your carpal bones. Okay, so just like in the quiz, this is the scaphoid. What? Let me get a little bit thinner. Okay, yeah, that is the scaphoid. This here is the lunate. This is your triquetral bone or your triquetrum. This here is the pisiform. Okay, going over to the other side. More distal, we have the trapezium. And there's a lot of T's here. So the way that I remember this is that trapezium rhymes with thumb right at the base of the thumb or that first digit. Okay, here we have your trapezoid. Then here, this big bone here, you have your capitate. And finally, this bone here, you have your hamate. And a good way to remember this is that the hamate actually has this handle here. You see that? Hamate, handle, both start with H. I don't know. Any way you can remember them um, is fine. Just whatever works best for you. Okay. So that is your carpal bones. Next, we'll go over the metacarpal bones, which um, should be pretty, um, it shouldn't be too difficult considering they are very similar to your metatarsal bones from your foot, um, just known as metacarpals instead. So what you have is your, I'm trying to think the best way to label this. I'm gonna label it as your base shaft and head of your metacarpal. So I'll draw those over here. These are your metacarpals. And when I say that, I mean that this whole thing here, this is a metacarpal bone, but you have your base of your metacarpal bone, the shaft of your metacarpal um, bone and the head of your metacarpal bone. Okay, then different color. You have your phalanges. Your phalanges are going to be these things right here, more distal to your metacarpals. Um, those different parts here. So this applies to all digits. I'm just leaving on the second digit right now because I have room. This is going to be your proximal phalanx. This here is going to be your middle phalanx. And this part over here is going to be your distal phalanx. And this rule applies to all of the digits except this one right here. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna label these. This is gonna be, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Okay, so what we have here is only a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. There is no middle phalanx on the first digit. Okay, I will zoom out a little bit. And there is the hand. I believe I hit everything. Um, yep, the base shaft and head, that applies to all five of them. Um, the phalanxes, we talked about that. And up here you have your carpal bones. Um, oh, we'll ask one more question. Let's do, um, we'll say, I'll give you a minute to answer. Let's say, what are two bones that articulate with the um, carpal bones of the hand? Okay, you can kind of see them in this image right here in this anterior view, but this is the radius and the ulna are two bones that are to articulate. You can see that right up here, you have your radius and ulna. Um, and it is important to note that this is the anterior view of this hand. So these parts here, how this um, trapezium, this kind of sticks out. You can't see it too well, but it kind of juts out. You have this, this pisiform here, the handle of the hamate bone, they'll kind of come forward. Um, that's kind of how you tell that this is an anterior view of this bone. On the posterior view, you won't have that. And we also have a left or right question up here. Sorry, I almost forgot to answer that. Um, this, is going to be a left hand. And the way we tell that is like I said, we know that this is an anterior view of this. Kind of orient yourself, use your imagination, put that hand on your right, on your um, left side where it belongs. Um, you know that this is here is the first digit. This is your thumb. Um, so based on anatomical position um, with your uh, palms facing forward, you know that this has to be a left hand. Okay, I believe that is all. Um, as always, if you have any extra questions, um, you have a lot of resources available to you, please reach out to me or any of the other TAs. We're all available by email or come to our office hours. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck studying.